Hey guys, it's me, Suja, over here. Uh, welcome back to another video. So, um, on this video, I'm going to be talking about are most Vietnamese women rude? So, um, I actually didn't plan to make this video, but um, I got an email last evening from one of my uh, YouTube subscribers. And I decided to, you know, make this video because I, 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 uh, you know, I felt very, um, you know, I, I felt very personal about this email. Uh, firstly, um, this YouTube subscriber, he's from India, and he talks about his um, his dating challenges here in Vietnam and how he is encountered with um, how he's. Uh, observing how he finds that most Vietnamese women are usually very rude towards him uh, and have a very cold attitude. Um, so I'm going to read out this email. Uh, but before I do, if you're new to my channel, the name of my channel is called as Su Joy in Vietnam. Um, you know, I've been living over here in Vietnam for over six years now. I was an English teacher before for three and a half years, and then I started my digital marketing online business. Um, and now I'm a full-time YouTuber. So if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. So if you are a Vietnamese um, watching this video, um, you know, watch it, uh, you know, just take it with an open mind because I felt very personal about this email. I received it last evening. I was planning to talk about some other topic, but, um, you know, I felt that, you know, I really need to talk about this and, you know, so I'm going to read out the email for you. Okay. Uh, I got my computer out here and I'm going to read it out. Hi, Sue Joy. Uh, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to you as a loyal subscriber and a big fan of your YouTube channel, Su Joy in Vietnam. Your insight into the challenges of living in Vietnam have been both informative and entertaining. And I truly appreciate the effort you put into your videos. So if you watch, if you watch most of my YouTube videos, you know my channel is straight up no BS. I like to talk about the pros and also I like to talk about the cons of living here in Vietnam. So, um, you know, I don't I'm not like the other expat YouTubers where I like to sugarcoat everything just to get more viewers. Uh, so I like to be very realistic and possible. OK, so let me continue. Let me continue this email. I recently embarked on a trip to Vietnam on a 90 day tourist e-visa hoping to explore the textile market here as part of my uh, entrepreneurial venture. So I presume he's a, he's a businessman uh, who's coming from India. I chose Saigon, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, um, as my base and rented an apartment in District 1 to um, immerse myself in the local culture. Uh, while my business uh, endeavors have been promising, I find myself facing unexpected challenges in the dating scene. So being an Indian, so uh, like I said, uh, I'm taking it personal because this subscriber is from India. So being an Indian with a darker complexion, I have encountered difficulties in connecting with Vietnamese women. Don't get me wrong, I'm a good looking guy and I'm five feet nine inches tall. So yeah, I mean, the guy is tall, I'm, I'm five eight. Yeah, so he's taller than me. Um, uh, despite my effort to approach them in public places like the uh, Nugan Hue, Nugan Hue, I think Nugan Hue walking street at night most seem uninterested and if not outright dismissive. It's disheartening. So disheartening, um, it's sad. Okay, it's disheartening to experience what feels like rudeness and racism based on my appearance and nationality. I've tried making eye contact, offering smiles, and even using basic greetings like Sing Chao, but the response has been uh, discouraging. So 
this subscriber of mine, um, so he's trying to he's trying to date a Vietnamese woman here in Saigon. Uh, but what I can understand is that he is not he is not getting interested by these women, these most uh, most of these Vietnamese women. OK, and you will learn why. OK, um, it seems that there is a prevailing preference for dating white expats and forums discussing this issue have only confirmed my observations. That's true. If you check out one of my oldest videos, I talk about why Vietnam um, has a problem with white privilege and why um, the other foreigners, other expats, you know, they are not treated properly, um, even if they don't have white skin, you know. Um, and I'm talking about those foreigners, you know, who have like dark brown complexion or who have black skin, they're not treated properly. So let me carry on. The dating culture here in Vietnam has proven challenging and I am contemplating cutting my trip short. Guy writes good English, I must say. Um, contemplating cutting my trip short, so he wants to leave Vietnam. Um, um, and relocating to Thailand where I hope to find a more welcoming environment. Having traveled to countries uh, like Thailand, Philippines, and Malaysia, I found that dating is more um, easy uh, with locals displaying a friendlier attitude, which I do agree. Um, I've also seen this in Thailand is that, um, you know, like I've had interactions with a couple of Thai women, you know, especially, you know, if I want to ask them for directions, uh, especially in Bangkok. And I would say, uh, 99% of them were quite helpful and I even had an instance where one Thai lady you know she walked took me all the way from one um, MRD station and <clears throat> she took me all the way to the bus stop and then she guided me how to um, you know go from there so yes I do agree with you in this point um, uh, women in Thailand are more friendlier compared to Vietnam I, I would I would agree with you on this my experience in Vietnam has left me frustrated and I hoped for a different outcome. I wanted to reach out to you because of uh, your deep understanding of life in Vietnam. Your videos have shed light on various aspects and I value your perspective. I wonder if you have encountered similar stories or if you have any advice on navigating the dating scene here. I know you um, I know you often discuss challenges faced by expats, and I believe your insights could be valuable. Um, thank you for uh, your time, and I look forward to your continued content on life in Vietnam. Best regards. I want to name him um, because I want to keep his name. Um, I don't want to uh, give out his name, but, uh, you know, the fact that, um, you know, he is from India and he had high hopes. I mean, he really thought that, you know, he would, he came on the 90 day visa and he thought that he's a very, I mean, from what I can read is that he's a, he's a young dude. Um, you know, I, I don't know if he's, uh, he's not mentioned his age or whatever, but, but, uh, you know, like from what I can recollect that his height or, you know, um, uh, good looking um, appearance or whatever it is. And he's a businessman. OK, he's like in, I, I presume he's in the textile business. So that's the reason why he's come here to Vietnam. But I presume he wanted to find a serious relationship over here in Vietnam. But it's not only him, but um, as an Indian, as an Indian living here in Vietnam for many years, I can confirm this to be true. I can confirm that most of the Vietnamese women, they usually dislike um, dating Indian men, okay, undo men, okay. Um, and, you know, most of them, you know, they are more into dating white foreigners, which is actually a sad reality. And I've had these experiences where I myself have walked at the walking street at Nguyen Hoai or whatever it is, uh, you know, Saturday nights or whatever, 
walked around, smiled, you know, made try to make some icon, and I've had the same situation. You know, I'm you know most of these Vietnamese women, um, especially they just avoid you. They roll their eyes as if you know they don't want to see you. They're not friendly, and especially even here in the countryside, like. Um, you know, majority of the Vietnamese women over here, they're not friendly also. I mean, that's sad reality. I will not compare Vietnamese women, uh, compare, I will not compare Vietnamese women to Thai women because Thai women are usually very helpful. They are friendlier. Uh, I've experienced this myself. Um, but from what he is saying, uh, I can, I can confirm and if you are planning to come to Vietnam, I'm, I'm not saying that don't come to Vietnam. It's a wonderful country. Do come, uh, you know, just uh, enjoy, travel around Vietnam, explore this beautiful world. But if you can, if you watch a couple of my previous videos about dating here in Vietnam, it's challenging. It's not, it's not for all types of foreigners, um, especially if you're a person of color. Uh, you are going to have challenges. Um, yes. I did find, you know, some Vietnamese women to be having that racist attitude and, you know, like, uh, you know, usually they will roll their eyes. The rudeness is there. And I mean, I'm sorry to say that, uh, you know, the, the, the majority of the, uh, the you know, the, the racism, the race card and the racism thing is actually practiced by these Vietnamese women. Uh, because, you know, they have that huge problem with ego. So, um, you know, I'm not saying all Vietnamese women are bad. I would say 80% of them are uh, not friendly uh, from my personal experience. But the remaining 30%, yes, um, you know, like they are friendly. They, they want to get to know you. They are approachable. And yes, that's also why I also checked in a couple of the forums why a couple of the expats here in Vietnam, they complain about having a very poor sex life here in Vietnam compared to Thailand. I'm not saying that they all go, I'm not saying that, I'm not talking about those sex bats, you know, like going only for hookers, but I'm talking about having a real, having a stable long-term relationship and so, yes, I do agree with the subscriber and I wanted to talk about this. Um, and as a result, I will also keep the title of this uh, of this video in Vietnamese because because I want the Vietnamese women to know that uh, this is not right, that, you know, just because, you know, some uh, foreigners, you know, like some foreigners who are not white, and, you know, uh, you know, when who have darker complexion or, you know, you cannot just treat treat them like uh, like like uh, garbage. You know what I mean? I mean, we're we're good human beings. We also want long term relationships. And what, from what I can understand from this person is that he wants to have a serious relationship with the Vietnamese women. And. And the sad thing is that most of these Vietnamese women whom he has uh, tried to talk to, they judge him very fast because uh, he's not, he's got the dark brown skin and, uh, you know, he, he has, he's from India, uh, he's Ando and uh, that, that is sad. So I really hope that the Vietnamese, most of the Vietnamese women here, they change their mindset, they're more open-minded and they start you know, they start becoming, uh, they start communicating, they start interacting with different foreigners and try to also have a friendly attitude because this is not right. So I took it personal. I may come up with another video regarding my personal experience of why uh, this is happening. So, um, yeah, so if you found this video to be insightful, um, you know, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I really thought of just addressing this because, um, like I said, this guy is from India and I took it personally. And, you know, and also additionally, if you found this content to be insightful, you can buy me a coffee. Um, and if you're traveling around uh, uh, in Southeast Asia or you want to make um, passive income, if you want to make money, make if you want to make money online, then you can check out the link down in the description below. But yeah, I mean, this is sad, you know, I mean, this is really sad. Okay, 
So with that being said, you guys have a great day. This was me, Sue Joy. Peace out.